It's the most popular sitcom in the USA and many countries around the world, and I despise it with the fire of a thousand suns. Why I hate Big Bang Theory, next. All right, you already know I hate Big Bang Theory. I just said it five seconds ago. But you're probably asking, why, Ed? Why do you hate this beloved sitcom embraced by millions of viewers? And here's my answer, because. First of all, something being popular doesn't make it good. Americans eat 20 billion hot dogs per year, averaging 70 hot dogs per person. And hot dogs are made of crap. Likewise, the Big Bang Theory is made up of so many recycled stereotypes that if an original idea popped up, it would die of loneliness. In the first place, the show is geek blackface. Can you imagine a modern sitcom showing black people always dancing and eating watermelon? Jewish people as penny-pinching bankers? The rhetorical answer is no. So why is there a sitcom full of every negative nerd stereotype? Socially awkward, check. Unfashionable, check. Bad with women, check. They only hang out with each other, check. Have made comics and sci-fi not a hobby, but a lifestyle, check. This show fell down the cliche tree and hit every branch on the way. And if that isn't enough, they also trot out nerd stereotype subspecies. Howard, the Jewish nerd. On TV, Jews are usually depicted as physically weak, cerebral, both sexually frustrated and sexually neutered, but funny. In that physically weak, cerebral, sexually frustrated, yet sexually neutered kind of funny. Also, for multiple seasons, he lived with his overbearing mother. That's the chicken in the soup. Raj, the Indian nerd. East Indians are frequently depicted as physically weak, cerebral, both sexually frustrated and sexually neutered, but funny. Yes, they're the new Jew. And another TV shorthand for nerd. Sheldon, the gay guy who isn't gay nerd. Sheldon is snarky, overly particular, and rude in that way that Hollywood traditionally writes gay characters. But he's not gay. Jim Parsons, the actor who plays him, is gay and has won numerous Emmy Awards as a gay man playing a character who isn't gay but acts exactly like Hollywood writes gay characters. That's like me winning awards for playing a character who isn't a puppet but looks like a puppet and acts exactly like me. The show's depiction of women ain't much better. First, let's look at Penny, the blonde goddess that nerds typically pine over. <gasps> Notice that Penny has no last name because a last name would make her a person instead of an object of nerd boy lust. Also, since she's attractive, of course she's been disdainful of the male character's nerd pursuits. Because good looking girls can't be smart and can't possibly be interested in comic books. Which is why Leonard represents the stereotypical fanboy wish fulfillment. That a nerd will get an attractive girl from the outside world to fall for him. Her being from the non-geek world is essential because an attractive girl who shares geek interests makes uber geeks resentful and territorial. Yeah, that last statement is a stereotype too, but I've known too many uber geeks and it's true. Yeah. The character of Amy is like Miss Pac-Man, looks the same as the guys but has long hair. She's got all the same traits. The only difference is that she scampers after Sheldon who is rude and abusive toward her. Another fanboy dream, the ability to act like a superior asshole to women and still have a girlfriend. Sheldon treats Amy with annoyance, but then I guess beards can get itchy. Bernadette, the cliche that under a pair of nerdy glasses you'll find a pretty girl. I think that represents 85% of 80s teen rom-coms. Also, the TV stereotype that every Jewish guy's dream is a blonde shiksa. And that isn't true. They don't have to be blonde. So yeah, those are some reasons I hate Big Bang Theory. Stock characters and rehashed plots that were old before the Brady Bunch got Cousin Oliver. But I also hate Big Bang Theory because its popularity proves something I hate having confirmed. That mass entertainment will always be crap because people prefer crap. The Bachelor and the Kardashians stay on the air for a reason, and that reason is you or someone close to you that you're probably aiding and abetting. Now I can't put all the blame for my disappointment in humanity on Big Bang Theory. Any chance of believing that most people are smart and clever disappeared with social media. Yeah. Speaking of which, f you Facebook. I'll tell you why I hate Facebook shortly. Keep watching and subscribe.